Hello and welcome to the 2022 uh, Halloween junk food uh, extravaganza. No, just a look at what's, what's going on. Now, this bit of the video I'm actually recording in September. Uh, as I'm sure a lot of you know, in America, the lots of the stores have already got a lot of Halloween stuff out. They're really starting to ramp it up now. Um, in the UK, no, nothing. We don't really get anything until I'm going to guess like the second week of October. It's really lacklustre effort. Except for this year, two stores have uh, stepped up to the plate, as it were. And one is TK Maxx, which isn't it, none of the food items are Halloween, but they do have a lot of uh, homeware. Um, so I just thought I'd go through that quick because when I was there recently, I came away with uh, this guy. I also got this little guy he got a bit of damage uh, somewhere there uh, on the trip home unfortunately so I need to get some white paint and fix him um, and they have lot, lots and lots of stuff there bath mats uh, tableware um, loads of glasses and mugs and things uh, the other thing I got was this cool guy he's so happy looking uh, but enough about decor, that's not why we're here. The other shop that seems to have stepped up so far is uh, Marks and Spencers. I uh, popped into the small one they have, a Waterloo station, to get some snacks for the train home from London. And um, we've got, so, first of all, there was a little chocolate thing. It's called a Bubbly Boo. And it's uh, just a milk chocolate ghost with uh, bubbles inside, a bit like an arrow. Um, the ghost, I don't know if you can see the picture clearly on the front, he does look kind of terrified. Uh, not very clear. There you go. And they had uh, pulling the caterpillar. Now, what's quite good with these is it's not just the packaging that they've put with uh, obviously a mummy worm and a vampire worm, but the treats inside. Uh, instead of having a normal kind of worm head on, they've actually got a little tiny little skull. So that's quite nice. And then finally, uh, Mark Spencer's is known quite well for its um, Percy Pig range of sweets. And again, they've uh, spooked that up. Uh, got sort of psycho killer uh, pig in the background there. And then what must clearly be an illusion to a vile Vincent from Huxley the Pig. I'll put up a picture so you know what I'm talking about. The reason I'm talking this bit of the video in September, rather than waiting for October when everything else comes out, is so I can eat them. Ha ha! So, see you in October. Hello, Shred, back again. It's now October. Uh, it's about the 19th of October, and uh, everything is a disappointment. Well, not everything, but uh, a lot of things. So just going back to that first bit of the video, went back to TK Maxx just to see what else they had, if I'd missed anything, and they still had a few bits of crockery out, but most of it had been taken away and replaced with Christmas things. Christmas! It's not even Halloween yet. Um, and in terms of the, the snack food, um, there's there's way less than last year. You've got a couple of the old favourites that uh, we've seen before. So yeah, your fiendish fancies, the orange Mr. Kipling ones, and the uh, weird serene things with the ghost packaging. Oh, stupid camera. There we go. Um, and I don't recall if these were here last year or not, but uh, Jaffa Cake Bars, or Jaffa Ween as they're calling them, which, uh, the, the two big eyebrow, uh, eyeballs is a bit weird. The little spider is okay, but the thing I like, you can quite see it in the light, is on where it says 10 bars. The, uh, the zero of the 10 is all done up like a mummy. So they put a bit of effort, and the, the Jaffa Cake has been made purple in the bar, yes. Um, the only, and that's been pretty much it. I mean, there's fruit roll-ups. 
have slightly different packaging. I wasn't buying them because I'm not going to eat them. That's basically it, except for one thing. A new contender has entered the fray this year, and it is uh, Kit Kat. And they've got this big bag of Kit Kats. So, uh, Halloween uh, break, as it says. And each one has its own individual picture on it. A little mini Kit Kat, it's not full size. So you've got a werewolf. Got a witch, uh, blue Frankenstein's monster, and uh, oh, there's, there's another two. Where are they? Oh, yep. There you go. We've got the mummy. And do they have the vampire? Yes. Last one, and a vampire. So well done Kit Kat um, and boo to everyone else who hasn't bothered this year it's, it's been surprisingly sparse I will keep looking in case I find anything else and obviously do an update because I know you care until then the end of the video Howie.